Hello and welcome to another video where I show you one thing you might know but you might want to have more information on about the Void Manufacturing Weltall. Disclaimer, this is not the greatest pedal in the world, but it happens to be a tribute. So here we have the Weltall yet again. I made a video on this last week and I was quite surprised and pleasantly surprised when I found out that it could actually chainsaw. So if you haven't watched last week's video, I highly suggest watching it uh, because there I go way more into detail. As of right now, we go straight to the curve. And we actually use the Weltall in distortion mode. So we fully crank the mids, go super ego either here or here. Don't need highs this much. And now spectrum. So you can see we can really dial in this high peak. Now it's rather high. So let's go back a bit here. When we add lows, we could do this but the gap is not as pronounced so we might as well leave it here and this is supposedly the chainsaw curve looks way different lots of high frequencies we could tame them okay then everything goes down so we shouldn't do it this much maybe here And looks very different, but you know what really matters? How it actually sounds.
So the Welt Tile is typically not meant to be a true chainsaw pedal, but it can do the chainsaw when you uh, have the super ego turn to the very left or one up, then you crank the mids and then you play around with the spectrum until it feels right. And based on those three potis alone, it's so versatile and you get a really chunky, grindy distortion sound. It is not as close to the original, but that wasn't the attention for sure. It's, um, and it also only works, at least for my ears, when you put it in front of a driven amp, because in front of a clean amp, it kind of lacks the, the, the bass a bit and, and I think the mid gap is kind of missing. However, the chainsaw tone it delivers in front of a driven amp is awesome. I really like it. I actually should shoot out it against the left hand breath now that I'm saying it. So yeah, if you're uh, in search for a chainsaw paddle, but you want a paddle that can do more, and by more I don't mean um, more HM2, although this can do a bunch of different HM2 tones, but uh, just be a regular boost overdrive pedal or a regular distortion pedal, I highly suggest uh, checking the Welt Isle out. It's really cool. I really like it and I didn't expect it to be this versatile. So let me know down in the comments what do you prefer more, the Welt Isle or the original HM2 or any other HM2 pedal. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe check out my Instagram if you want. May the force be with you and have a nice day.